Hey guys, Red Pen Mining here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day at this video. All right, Soap is live. This is for the Kwai network. They have moved on from proof of work to a new type of proof of work mechanism, which is called Soap. Subsidized open market acquisition protocol is like merge mining, but instead of paying the subsidy chain's rewards to the miner, the reward is paid to a protocol address that sells the parent token at market and then buys Kwai at market. All right, so those who purchase Kwai are then either burned or streamed as time deferred incentives to users who lock Kwai. So it's a multi-algorithm type of mining. There's gonna be the script chain, the SHA-256 chain, and then there's gonna be a Kapow chain. Shares don't create Kwai blocks, but they credit external work and channel more subsidy chains rewards into buy and burns this has two effects broader hardware diversity and stronger security different hardware asics and gpus contribute via their native algos making it harder for any one hardware to class to dominate headroom keeps growing under full subsidy if a block production is already full adding share capacity from other algos lets the system continue to scale and the subsidy chain to quai conversion without destabilizing block timing or difficulty resulting in more ways to contribute while using the same stable consensus mechanism all right this is this is cool so i'm going to show you guys an example today we're going to move over a bitmain l9 as well as a avalon q and also a couple GPUs. I'm gonna move some of my 178Xs over to Kwai and the mining pool of choice that we're gonna be choosing today, but there's a bunch of different mining pools that just switched over to Kwai. There's K1 pool, alpha pool.tech. I'm gonna be trying Cryptex. Cryptex has uh, their script mining pool as well as their SHA-256 mining pool for Kwai and now the Kapow one for GPUs. Now, is it going to be profitable or not? Well, that begs to be seen. I believe hashrate.no will show or will, will update this later on as you guys watch this video. Maybe it'll already be updated, but I'm recording this as the network has just, just switched over. I like this little 3D block thing in the space. This kind of reminds me of like playing EVE online. This is really cool. Anyways, thank you to Kwai and Cryptex for sponsoring today's video to show you guys this demonstration. So before we begin, I just wanted to mention that Kraken will be launching Kwai very soon. They're going to be listing Kwai here in order for anyone that wants to uh, sell their Kwai. I'll have a link down below to Kraken if you're interested. But let's begin. So if you have the Pelagus wallet, this is going to be your go-to wallet for your Kwai tokens. So install this before you want to get started in mining. So I have it installed here. I'll log into my Pelagus wallet on the side here encrypting wallets okay so this is where i can receive my quai here this is the address that i'm going to be pointing towards my script miner my bitcoin miner and for my gpus and i'm going to show you guys how to do that right now okay so get your wallets ready all right so first demonstration let's do the script mining pool on cryptex okay so this is going to be very easy so my bitmain at miner l9 here we're going to go to settings and I'm gonna edit the pool and the miner name and password will still be X. Okay, so mining address, this is gonna be for the script pool for Cryptex and I'll have links down below to the cryptex.com quai script pool. Okay, so you guys can see here. So we're just gonna copy the global pool here and we're gonna go back to my L9 and we're gonna paste that in. Still have TC stratum plus TCP colon slash slash there. Then we're gonna also copy the secondary pool um, whichever your guys' geolocation is, and we're going to paste that into here uh, for the second pool. The third pool, I'm going to have a totally different mining pool just in case Scriptex decides to go down. Just as a backup, always best practice to have a backup pool. Okay, now the worker names. Okay, this is now where you're going to be getting your receiving address for your Kwai. All right, so let's paste that in here. And we're going to remove this one and we're going to put a period and I'm just going to call it L903. Uh, we will confirm that at the pool level uh, when this is connected. And then that's it. We're going to hit save. Okay. And we will see if it's going to now start connecting to the script pool here. Just a quick note, actually, for the Quai network, blocks are confirmed within two weeks. The pool processes payouts only after the coins are confirmed. So they're calling it a timing tailwind. The Kwai rewards have a two-week maturity. Buys begin 14 days before 
any newly minted quad can be sold, uh, front running typical sell pressure. Okay, so there's gonna be about two weeks until you can actually get your quad. Okay, it's just been about a minute. I'm wanting to see now. Okay, we're gonna copy the wallet address if it shows this miner on Cryptex. So we're gonna copy and paste the wallet address that I'm using into the wallet portion here for the search function on Cryptex. Hit the search button and as you can see, looks like we got an L903 here connected. All right, perfect. All right, so that's the that's the first script miner I have that is going on on Kwai as Kwai just went live here for their SOAP. Okay, so that's the script example. Um, there's gonna be a lot of other script miners out there and it's gonna be the exact same way, whether you have gold shells or any script ASICs for that matter, it's gonna be the same way to add your script miner on the script uh, Cryptex mining pool for Kwai. All right, so next demonstration now, let's do Bitcoin, all right? We're gonna try an Avalon Q to the mining Kwai, essentially, okay? so. Let's go to the SHA-256 Kwai mining pool. We're gonna copy the global address here. We're gonna go back to the Avalon Q device. I'm gonna paste that into here, okay? And then for the, again, similar to the script ASIC, we're gonna get our receiving address. We're gonna paste that into here. Period, just to distinguish a worker name. Then on your guys' Bitcoin ASIC, uh, you probably wanna set up the second and third mining pools as backup, so make sure uh, you put that in. I'm just going to put that for the second one here. Copy and paste the uh, worker name and address. X. Okay. Uh, third one, I will put Europe as the third backup just in case. Okay. Copy the wallet address, worker name, and then password. Submit. Okay. And I forgot to put the stratum plus TCP. And I'm going to copy that uh, for these mining pools. Don't forget that. And submit. There we go. All right, device will be reset. It's gonna restart. Okay, so let's see if this is gonna show up on the SHA-256. I'm gonna enter my wallet address. There we go. And then we're gonna hit enter. And it looks like, yep, Avalon Q03. So it shows up on Cryptex here and it's just gonna start ramping up. We'll let this go. And let's now get our GPUs for the Kapow mining pool. I'm gonna show you guys a demonstration here. Okay, so let's go to our Hive OS. So I'm going to be doing this through Hive OS. I unfortunately don't have any Windows GPU rigs to show you guys. So any Windows miners or Rave OS miners, MMP OS, they do have their uh, example batch file commands here that you can copy for the various uh, miners. Okay, well, we're going to be using Regal uh, Miner for Kapow. All right, so for any Windows miners, I'll have it linked down below to this if you are uh, needing the Windows batch file. But for majority of the HiveOS users, let's go. Okay, so for flight sheets, let's go. We're gonna create a new Kwai flight sheet. And now I need to add a new wallet. So this is gonna correspond to my uh, Pelagus address here. And we're gonna put Pelagus as the wallet name. You guys put whatever name that you like. All right, save that. And we have the wallet there, all good. Now, next is select pool. So I did check. I don't think Cryptex has updated the uh, the port numbers here. So you're not going to be able to use this right now. Maybe as you guys watch this video, it might be updated. So I have to configure in the miner. So the port number is 7043. Uh, they had a different one here uh, configured 7035. So I'm sure that will be updated soon. So we have to do custom for now. And then we're going to do Regal Miner. Uh, this is for my NVIDIA cards. And we're going to hit Setup miner config, then we're going to have to do some custom things here. So it should say hash algorithm Kwai. Uh, this is actually wrong. We got to go to uh, Kapow now. Okay, it's going to be Kapow. Wallet template will just be the wallet uh, period worker name. You can put that in like this. Password will just be X. Okay, uh, pool URL. All right, so this is where I will have to do it like this. I'm just going to use global and we're going to paste that into there. Okay. So, all right, that's it. And yeah, that's all we need to do. Apply changes, create the flight sheet. And now we're gonna set the flight sheet on one of my rigs here, okay? On my 170HXs, we're gonna go to the flight sheet on the rig and hit this flight rocket button. And now it should be, yeah, it's configuring. I'm gonna hive shell into the rig here. And as you guys can see, yeah, we are now mining Kwai 
with my GPUs. Okay, so looking at Hive OS here, we're getting 51 mega hash, around 187 per uh, 178x. Okay, so let's see if this shows up on uh, Cryptex here. So put the wallet address in, search, and yep, GP risers are at zero one. All right, this rig is getting valid shares now and is ramping up in hash rate. Okay, so guys, that's it. That's how you start mining. And let's just uh, verify that we're seeing some hash rate for our script. Uh, L9, that's connected. Yeah, L9 is getting valid shares. Hash rate is slowly climbing up here. Uh, 16 giga hash over the past 10 minutes. Okay, great. Then our Bitcoin miner, the Avalon Q that I have added here. Looks like this is also ramping up as well. 47 valid shares and the GPUs are just ramping up here as you guys can see. Okay, so we are now connected to Mining Kwai. This is, oh, all right. I'm excited to see what the payout will be. Again, there will be two weeks for the blocks to be confirmed. The pool process payouts only after the coins are confirmed. If your coins haven't been credited or sent yet, it means that two weeks have not passed since they were received. Okay, so just be patient. If you're wondering why you haven't been receiving your Kwai, it's going to take about two weeks. Okay, so we'll see what will happen with Kwai here. Looks like we're having a little bit of a little bit of a rise up here as of uh, recording. I'm assuming that's because of the activation of soap. So we'll see what that brings forth to the project. All right, my friends, that's it for this video. Let me know if this helped you and if you are going to try mining Kwai. Uh, with your script miners or your bitcoin miners or even your gpus let me know down below all right i'll see you on the next video have a good one peace out peace out